We live in a period of great change, of discovery and technological innovation. All areas of science are experiencing this progress, including healthcare and medicine, which have taken huge leaps forward in recent history. This quantum surge in medical knowledge and ingenuity is similar in importance to that which occurred in the Arab and Islamic world over a thousand years ago. It was a storm of knowledge and enlightenment that still echoes in the halls of hospitals and clinics today. From the first accurate descriptions of the circulatory system to vaccination, surgery, and establishing the first real hospitals, our ancestors built the groundwork of modern medicine. The scientists of that age were often prominent in a number of subject areas. Abu Bakr al-Razi, known more popularly as al-Razi, was a shining example of this. He lived around the turn of the 9th and 10th century AD and made fundamental and lasting contributions to the field of medicine, chemistry, music, and philosophy, which is documented in over 200 books and articles, and made many discoveries in medicine through his own observations and experiments. Among his many medical achievements was to differentiate between smallpox and measles, which used to be confused before then, and identified fever as being the body's natural defense system and not a disease in itself. Possibly his most famous work is the extensive medical encyclopedia in nine volumes called El Hawi. When it was translated into Latin more than 300 years after his death, it had a big influence on the course of medicine in Europe equal, if not of greater influence in Western Europe, was the comprehensive work of Ibn Sina, the Canon of Medicine, which was translated into Latin and used as a textbook in several universities until the middle of the 17th century. It is best known for its scientific approach to medicine, based on experimentation and quantification, describing known contagious diseases and sexually transmitted diseases, and introducing quarantine to limit the spread of infectious diseases in addition to predicting the existence of microorganisms. In surgery, other physicians left their legacy, like Abu al-Qasim al-Zahrawi, who identified 200 surgical instruments, many of which are still used today. He also introduced plaster for setting broken bones and cat gut for stitching wounds, a practice still used today. Ammar ibn Ali al Mosuli is also notable for inventing the injection syringe and hypodermic needle for the extraction of cataracts in the first successful cataract surgery. While ibn Nafis was the first to accurately describe the blood breathing and circulatory system in a manner comparable to modern medicine. And those were brilliant men of science that still shine bright in the stars of science galaxy.